Hello friends, this is Vinir. Welcome to my YouTube channel TechSub. So today's tutorial is all about actually how we can add uh, the Windows credentials and generic credentials to the user, uh, the credential manager using C Sharp. So there are many scenarios like you want to add particular kind of username and password to the credential manager and with the help of that you have to do some action or you have to log in to different website like uh, consider like uh, a user is having a username a and password a so you want to access with that, uh, that username and password and the next test case is like you want to access the same uh, browser or the application with username b and password b so actually uh, if that application works like this way like uh, if the uh, credentials are added to the credential manager and they are taking it from the credential manager then you can make use of this method and you can add and remove the uh, users however you want so I will just go through the method so there is set credential and remove credential so set credential with deals with URL username password and persistence type so actually it's like uh, it's mainly used for a uh, single overriding single sign-on so actually we, if, if you want to override the single sign-on then you have to give the URL then host equal to uri.host that you will be getting from uri then you will be passing the credential so if it is a domain password then it means it will be windows credential target equal to host username password the persistence type so you will be having uh, different types of persistence type so you will have to take which persistence type you want so that's and then you are saving it into the credential type uh, set credential so in the remove credential also we will be just check, taking the uri and host then we will be removing it uh, the uh, viewing it from the uh, uh, credential manager so if i put a dot in the credential type you can say it is domain type domain password domain visible password and generic so if you if you want the user to be added to a generic credentials then you have to say uh, take generic if he needs to be added to the windows uh, password then it should be domain password so similarly here also you have to change it okay then uh, we had something called persistence type so if I go to the method the persistence type so the persistence type if I just uh, put a dot here and it's in the test so you can can be at enterprise level it can be uh, actually this is the scope of that uh, user credential if it means the session means it will be only available for the session if it local computer means uh, it will be available in the this computer and enterprise means you can you cannot change it it will be always there so actually I will be giving it for enterprise okay, okay so and I have another method called remove credentials where I will be uh, removing the same uh, credential so I will just uh, run it in debug mode. Okay, so now let's see if there is any error or not. Okay, I'm just doing the debug. Okay, now we will go to the credential manager. And we'll just refresh it so you can see the test uh, yes added here so the username password persistence type is here so it's there then actually we will just debug it more remove credentials okay so we have removed it so okay so we now you can see it's already there okay so you can see it's removed so in this way uh, before starting the method you can just add it and once the test script is completed you can remove it so that's pretty much about the uh, how we can use of this credential manager and add and remove the uh, uh, credentials thank you and have a good day bye